welcome back to Life is Aisha and today we will be kicking off Sneaker Friday yet again. Um, as you all know, it was a series that I started midway last year. So um, I'm excited to get it back going. This will also serve as my first video of 2021. I have a vlog that will be coming up soon because I did go to Vegas about two weeks ago for my 28th birthday. So happy belated birthday to me. But I'm pretty sure most of you all already told me because you all showed me so much love and I'm so appreciative for it. Like you all really made my day. Every time I was checking my pages, I'm like, oh my God, like people are really telling me happy birthday so much. So thank you all for that. Um, I also want to say happy new year to everyone. Since this is my first video of the year, I ended off last year um, with my top 10 pickups for 2020. So hopefully um, 2021 is about the same um but better actually as you all know as my sneaker fridays go on you will um see different pairs that i have picked up along the way or just pairs that i haven't have yet to show you so this was a pair that i actually um literally in my first 2021 pickup but i purchased it in 2020 it just arrived in 2021 a lot of my packages that i purchased in 20 20 came in 2021 so um stay tuned for those videos we have a lot coming up yeah so without further ado i have on my little kobe t-shirt here because you all know we are a laker family here if you didn't know now you know we bleed purple and gold and i've been a laker fan my whole life just a little background real quick i've been a laker fan my whole life kobe bryant has always been my favorite basketball player um after him it would be like Allen iverson but Kobe Bryant has definitely always been that guy for me. I've always been a Laker fan. Um, I was like one of the only Laker fans in my family. And uh, and it always seemed like everybody was a hater of the Lakers. Like, just putting it out there, I was always get into arguments with people like because i just feel like as a lakers fan la fan i've always we've always been like our extremely hated team like we just have and we are the reigning champs you know la did make a resurgence but i'm just saying like before a lot of other players came to the lakers when it was just kobe basically doing all the work we were so hated on everybody called him a ball hog everybody was like he's the reason why we're losing no the reason why we were losing because we had sorry players like let's just get that out there but we want to get into these reeboks here and i'm so extremely happy to have this pair um in my possession in my collection now because i didn't think that this was going to be possible this sneaker was obviously um a player exclusive for Kobe was during the years where he had his sneaker free agency. So um, before he got like signed on to Nike, he had sneakers with Adidas. He had these here uh, for Reebok. He had several Jordans. Like there were there was a time period where you didn't really know what Kobe was gonna be rocking on court. So this was one of those pairs. This was around I think 2002, 2003. Um, actually, I put the little um, non-disclosure agreement paper on top just so I could reach it before I got into the sneakers. This was a part of the original Shoe Palace packaging. I didn't get my pair from Shoe Palace. I wish I did. I could have. I'm not even sure if I would have been able to because this is a kid size and I believe the Shoe Palace um, version was only for men. But the agreement just reads, this non-disclosure agreement is made effective as of December 8th, 2002 by and between Reebok and Shoe Palace of these shoes and the recipient of uh it says footwear are for a promo use only that can be worn worn on and off the court the owner has requested and the recipient agrees that the recipient will protect the confidential material and information that they have purchased um confidential information the term comfort yeah i'm not gonna read all that <laughs> But basically, um, it was by Reebok and Shoe Palace. It was December 8th, 2002. And yeah, it just says Shoe Palace promo property of Reebok made for number eight. That was Kobe's original number. And it just says this is in a, this is not an official non-disclosure agreement form. Enjoy your sneakers at the bottom of it. So, you know, don't feel like, oh my God, like she got some shoes she wasn't supposed to get. But no, <laughs> it's not that deep. So, um, yeah, I thought that was a cool little nice touch to it. Originally, these were supposed to release last um, All-Star, if I'm not mistaken, last February. But it was postponed, obviously, because of his untimely death in, at the end of January. So, a lot of different... Um, companies Nike Reebok like a lot of them postponed their releases because there was just a whole lot going on with 
how people and the so-called fans were reselling his items for extremely ex high prices and it was just you know really unfair to the ones that were really fans. So this is basically the sneaker here. It's an all white um, leather upper and it's dubbed the yellow toe because right here in the toe box area in suede it has that golden yellow like a laker yellow color. Along the eyelets of the shoelaces, you do have Reebok going down. And then on the opposite side of the shoe, the medial side, you have just the Reebok symbol. And it's in gold and purple. The Reebok symbol on both sides of the shoe outlined in the purple. It's so like the royal purple, Laker purple. On the back of the shoe, you have the question Reebok symbol here. And it's also in gold and purple as well. I really love the shoe. I have quite a few questions. As I said before, um, Allen Iverson is my second favorite player. This was his signature shoe model. Um, one of the many that he has. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds for me. Like I get a Laker colorway that was specifically made for Kobe. And an Iverson question. So I mean... Doesn't really get any better than that. On the sole of the shoe, you have gold and yellow color, and you have Reebok going down the middle of it, and also the Reebok symbol here in purple. I just think it's really a really nice touch. I love how the how it meets here with the toe box, that same yellow color right here on the air bubbles, which is like the hexa. What is it called? Hexa light. Um, I always forget the name of it. It's also gold and on the inside of it and it has the purple here. It gives like the um, honey comb um, effect. On the inside of the shoe, the insole, it has Shoe Palace Promo 12A2002 on it. It's really dope. I'm actually going to take one of these out just so you all can see it. Um, I never do that. Like I, I don't never take out insoles of shoes, but I felt like it was necessary so you all can see it. So... Let's just grab that out of this. You know what? It probably will help if I took out the tissue paper first. So <laughs> let's take out this tissue paper. Then let's pull the insole out. Um, I mentioned I think this this is a size five and a half in kids. Okay, well that was kind of stuck in there. So um let's just remove this sticker off and you can all see it. It's really vibrant. I love this yellow. Um of course I'm a Laker fan, so I have adapted the colors purple and gold. No, I'm don't, they're not my favorite colors, but definitely for my team. And here it is. Just gonna bring that in so you all can see it. So it's really dope. Um, I love that they actually included that in this one. I did purchase my pair from Reebok. Um, I received the notification because these were a midnight release. I'm super happy and stoked that they are still doing releases at midnight because. Um, I've always had better um, a better chance at winning those. So I got the notification from one of those sneaker pages. I think it was Sneaker Shouts. And basically, they tweeted the link out. They had the men's size and the kids' size. I was like, okay, let's try this out. So first, I got the link for DickSportingGoods.com. Tried on there. It was a fail. I got it to my car. I got to check out. And then as soon as I was about to check out, it said that your shopping cart was empty or however the terminology is. So I'm like... Okay, well, they sold out on me, so I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try again tomorrow morning. Then I got back on Twitter, and it said um, the Reebok link had popped up for it. So I tried on Reebok, and basically the exact same thing happened. Got to car, and I wasn't able to. So I was just like, wow, okay, so I won't be getting those tonight, but I was like, I'm going to try in the morning for them or whatever. I got back on Twitter, and it said that to keep refreshing on Reebok, they're still available. Just keep refreshing your page. So I sure enough did. I was patient. I kept refreshing. And finally, the five have popped up. Uh, the six popped up as well. And I can get a six in Reebok questions, but they do fit a little, um, slightly. I, they're a little roomy to me. And I like my sneakers to, fit, to be fitted. So um, that's why my size fluctuates a lot. And a lot of Reeboks and Converse or other brands like that. The cut of the shoe is bigger. Like to me, this is cut wider. Just like with the Nike um, Pippins of Tempos, those are cut wider, so I typically size down. So I got a five half in these. Um, some other Reeboks of mine I do have a six in, a six youth in, or a six men. To me, they're like basically the same size. So um, just for sizing purposes, I know a lot of, I get a lot of questions about people that are like in my same size, because I am like an eight in women. Sometimes I can like go for a seven and a half in women as well. Let's put that tissue paper back in this shoe. 
Um, also, I do want to point out that the sneakers did come extremely well wrapped. I will pull out my, this is the right size. So I'm put on my left shoe so you all can see how it came wrapped up. Okay, this is basically how the sneaker came wrapped up. It was like wrapped, both of them were wrapped in tissue paper like this. It's very similar to, you watch my Joe Fresh Goods video, how the Converse are wrapped up. I think it's because this shoe is basically mostly white because I've gotten questions before and they weren't wrapped like this. But um, it's been like a while since I've purchased any questions. So um, just another look at it. This sneaker here does have this little Reebok tag on it. I did see some people that got pairs that had like other different tags on it. I'm sure, I guess, it just depended on where you purchase your sneaker from or like I said before, if you purchase your sneaker in a men's size. But um, this was a kid's size. I was happy to grab them. They retail for... Um, of course, they don't have it on here, but I believe they retail for $100, um, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, yeah, I just really am happy about this purchase. Um, I've always been a Kobe fan. I said that before. It's very um, a feel-good moment to have this sneaker in hand and to actually look at it. Like I said before, I never thought I would be able to get it. I remember when the Packer um, sneaker collab came out. When Packer did their collab with Reebok for the pair that it was, I pop up a picture somewhere. It had the purple toe and it actually had, um, instead of the number three at the back, which I didn't even, did I talk about that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, because I didn't talk about it. It also has the number three here. On the Packer pair that I was that I was mentioning, it has the number eight here and it's like purple. All of this is purple. Everything, everywhere you see yellow here basically, it's the opposite is purple so that's one a pair um that i would love to have i don't even think they're released in kids i know um it was like a um pack so i think lebron had a pair as well that was like green or something like that and um of course kobe had the pair that was purple so that's a pair that i would love to have um anytime i see pictures of those i'm like extremely like oh my god jealous because i would really love to have that pair but um, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Um, it's good to be back. I'm glad to start back doing videos for the year. Hope that you all had a great new year. I hope that you all have had a great year so far. Um, and I will see you next Friday in another installment of Sneaker Friday. So as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.